Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So December 26th is my birthday and every year I buy myself something for my birthday. Okay, so yes, every year I buy myself something for my birthday. It's been a tradition of me. Just like I said in my Christmas video, I always buy myself a Christmas gift. Well, birthday's no different. One year it was the HRV, another year it was this big screen TV. So this year I went out and bought me a sound bar. Now, yeah, a soundbar might not seem like it's expensive, but as you can see, this says Samson and this says Harmon Carden. You know what that means. So this is Samson 8 series soundbar and it goes with my TV because my TV is the 8 series also. But you know, it just uh, happened to be a coincidence. The features on this soundbar is it's got 13 speakers built into the soundbar itself and it has Dolby Atmos built in. It has DTS, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got Bluetooth, it's got HDMI, and it also has the smart things features built in by Samsung. So it has true 5.1 channel sound, it's got multi-dimension audio playback, side firing speakers, 4K pass-through, streaming music service, all of this built into this soundbar system right here. And it also has a wireless subwoofer. And like I said, with this name on it right here, Harman Kardon, you should know that it ain't cheap because Harman Kardon don't sell cheap speakers. So Samson teamed up with them to create this sound system right here. Now I already have some sound bar hooked up to my system. It's a 3.1. It's an older system by Samson also, but it doesn't have all this fancy feature that this one comes with. And this one is a whole lot more expensive than that 3.1 right there. This model is the HWN850. And like I said, it has 13 built-in speakers just in the soundbar by itself, each with their own dedicated amplifier. Now with those 13 dedicated built-in speakers, sounds should be coming from all around the room. That include bouncing off the ceiling, bouncing off the walls, and surrounding me with surround sound. But I need some rear speakers to make the sound come from the rear. And that's what this box is sitting up top for. These are my rear speakers right here. And they're wireless, so I don't have to have wires running across the room, they send the signal from the soundbar to the rear speakers and everything is wireless because the subwoofers are also wireless so there's nothing running from anywhere the only thing you're actually doing is actually using the plug to plug it into the wall but that's the only cable you run you don't have wires running all everywhere just like those traditional speakers that I have over there that needs a wire to get the sound to it. So yes, I got these because, you know, I like to watch my movies and I like to be immersed in my movie. I like to hear sounds coming from everywhere, angle, even if somebody's creeping up behind you. You know that effects you get when you go to the movie theater and you can hear sounds bouncing off the ceiling like a helicopter flying over your head. Uh, the boogeyman sneaking up behind you or something's going off to the left side or something's going off to the right side I like that kind of effect So that's the reason why I got these soundbar system right here because even though the ones I have right now has surround sound built in You don't get that effect with those speakers right here But this is supposed to do all of that and when I went to Best Buy and stood there in front of it and heard it I'm like this thing is amazing the way it sound. It's just heavy bass explosion stuff like that so that's the reason why I got this one because I wasn't sure what I was going to get myself this year and I kept on looking I said I already got this, I already got that, I already got this. So this was the winner right here. This is the one that took the spot this year for my birthday present. So let's do some unboxing and see what's in these boxes. So let me start off with the surround sound speakers. Okay, so we got the manual, we got the power cable, we got the wireless connector, I guess this is how it talks to the soundbar, we got some mounting apparatus, another mounting apparatus, wires to run it from the actual connector because there's a little control box that goes to these speakers right here so that's the only wires you're running from this to that. And these are the wires that go to that. And uh, I'm not sure what this is yet, but I guess I'll find out. And and there you have it. These are the surround sound speakers right here. They're pretty small. 
and uh, tucked away, you know, so I can just tuck them away behind my chair right there and they will fit nice and neat. Pretty simple. And it looks like it has speakers from just the side. No, there's no side speakers, just speakers from the front. And finally, we have the little control unit for the surround sounds. So the signal is gonna come from the sound bar and then it's gonna send it over to this box and then the box is gonna send out the sound to the rear speakers. So on the back of this, all it has is the power connector and the two speakers, the left and right channels. And that's all this is to it. I'm assuming that this goes to the actual sound bar because it's gonna send the signal over to this, which this is the wireless connector. So let's get that out the way and move these over here. And now we're going to move on to the big package right here. This sound bar is large and I'm pretty sure it's going to fit up there where my little TV is sitting. It's going to be right in front. But I noticed when I was looking at it in Best Buy that this thing was very large. And I'm pretty sure it was, it's going to fit, but I'll make it fit. But it is bigger than a normal sound bar. I mean, this is the size of it. It is huge. So yeah, that's it right there. And it's got some weight to it. It does have some weight to it. Okay, so this is the current one I have up there now. As you can see, I can hold it easily with one hand. It's like a, a bat, you know, the size of a bat. But look at it. This is it. It has speakers on the front, but none up top. So this is just strictly front fire speakers right here and looking at it through the light, I can tell there's a speaker here, speaker here, speaker here, speaker here, but I don't see anything in the middle beside the display panel. So it's not too many speakers on this one. Now, I don't know if I can hold these two side by side, but I might have to stand it up because this one has some weight to it. See? It's a big difference in size. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't even compare. The height alone is much longer. The, the size of it is much smaller. I mean, it just fits in there. This swallows it up easily. So look at that. But like I said, this is professional grade right here. This is a monster speakers. So it costs more. But it's going to give me that immersive surround sound that I'm looking for when I'm watching my movies. So yeah, like I said, this has speakers on top. I can actually see them. There's speakers on the side and there's speakers in front. So this thing is going to be shooting sounds out everywhere, every direction that you can think of besides the back. So yeah, see how big it is right now? It fits up there like a glove. But you can tell it cuts off the bottom of the TV barely, just a barely bit. I mean, if you look. If you're too low, you can see it, but if you're too high, you won't be able to see it. So I might get something to elevate the TV a little bit, but I probably won't need to. Once I hook it up, then I'll see how it sounds, but it's huge compared to the original uh, soundbar that I have up there. Now let's see what else is inside this box, which is the subwoofer. So that's it. I mean, there's nothing else in there. The box is pretty much empty. You know, there's, they put these little things on the side to balance out the sound bar on top, but that's where the actual subwoofer came from right in the middle. That's the box right there. Normal when you buy these sound bar, they come in these odd shaped box. You know, it's got big on top and it's got this little cut in the middle and then it goes flat. It, it's just a weird shape. So I'm glad this one came in a normal box because I don't see how they could put it in one of those odd shaped box and you'll be able to carry it. Okay, we got some paperwork. We got the one remote. We got the uh, HDMI cable. We got the power cord for the subwoofer and the sound bar. Got some batteries. And then we got the mounting bracket that you can mount the sound bar for. If you, you know, if you mount it on the wall, for instance. So that's it. 
that's basically it that's in the box now let me put these separate because I don't want to mix up the surround sound with the sound bar let's get the subwoofer out of the package and see what it looks like much bigger than the subwoofer I have right now for the 3.1 Yep, there it is. I'm not sure the size of the speakers inside. I have to look up the dimensions. But it has a porthole in the back. It has the power connector. And uh, it's wireless. So I don't have to worry about trying to run any wires to it. And I like that because now I can put the subwoofer anywhere I want to. I usually put it right there on the floor because, you know, subwoofers don't really need to be anywhere because they're not directional. It's not like the sound bar where the sound bar needs to face you so you can hear the sound subwoofers they can go anywhere because the sound is not directional it's low frequency so there it is so that's what I got myself this year for my birthday present a very expensive sound bar but it was worth it it was on sale and that's the reason why I got it it was on a deep discount sale now as far as connecting the sound bar it has one HDMI second HDMI and it's got an HDMI with TV ARC which is what I usually use anyway to connect the sound, the ARC. You can control the sound through the speakers using one remote, but also if you hook it up Bluetooth, you can do the same thing too. So I like the HDMI TV ARC port as an output, which also goes to the TV. So it's like a back and forth thing. And then I can use the HDMI one and two to hook up different things. Like for instance, the Xbox, or a blu-ray plate down the other side is the power so this is where I hook the power up and it has two connectors right here it says ID set for subwoofer and rear and network and I'm not sure what those are I probably have to look it up in the book but those are the connectors it have it has don't have any connectors oh it also have digital out optical digital out but it doesn't have any USB ports this USB port right here says service so therefore it's not used for reading like a USB stick to play music or anything like that is basically probably for a firmware update or some type of service thing so yeah this is what like I said I got myself this time for my birthday one year was the TV one year was the HRV but I went big on this one this time this is gonna replace my soundbar that I have now you know this little bitty time bar look at that and I thought this was a bit huge at the time I got it because you know it was much bigger than the original soundbar I got which was much shorter but this one when I got it I said okay this one is much longer but when I saw this guy in Best Buy I'm like okay now that's a big soundbar but it sounds good and I can't wait to hook it up to my TV and watch some action packed movie hear all that gun firing and shooting and explosion Mmm, I can't wait. So the plan now is to remodel this old area because I gotta hook up the Xbox that was in my last video. I gotta uh, rearrange this soundbar system that I have now, move it to another location, move my Blu-ray player because the Xbox is gonna do my movies now as far as Blu-rays. And I'm gonna hook this up and set up my surround sound speakers and stuff like that. Now these rear speakers have a little hook in the back where you can actually hook it to a speaker stand or you can mount it to the wall. But I'm a little crafty so I went to Home Depot and I created my own speaker stand. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple, basic wood. I think I will put a little wood stain on it to make it look like a furniture type wood. But right now this is what it looks like. And all I have to do is grab my speakers. Now this was originally made for these speakers right here. But I'm going to modify it for those little speakers. So all I have to do is just put it right here like this. And the speakers stay on it. They don't go anywhere. They don't rock. And it's got a little felt little thing in the back. So if you want to mount it against the wall. So it doesn't scratch up your wall right there. So this is it. And it works real well. The speaker stays on it. They don't fall off. And uh, it works. The screws that I have on it right now, they're a little bigger. So they probably was not going to fit this little speakers right here. But I can easily swap out the screws and, you know, make it work. So that's my speaker stand. And if you're interested in how I built this, let me know in the comments. And I can give you the dimensions 
of how to cut the wood and stuff like that to make it uh, fit and work for you. Okay, so I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Like I said, this is my birthday gift for 2018. I look forward to see you in the next video. Have a good one.